What's up, guys? Monte Carlo here. You know, no big deal. Um, I already hate this. Uh, today, I have a very, 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 very interesting video for you guys. Um, you have been following me for some time now. You know, I do some of my own music from time to time, and uh, I was going across some some files, you know, and I actually found the first song I ever recorded. Um, I was probably like 15, 16, or junior year in high school, um, and I was really getting into the idea of, you know, being in a band and, like, making my own stuff at that point, and uh, I had a friend who dabbled in some mixing himself, and we were in jazz band together, and so he was like, hey, you know, I have some software that we could use, I have a little interface that we can do, we can go into the practice room, take as much time as you need, let's make a song. So I was all for it, you know, he and I were pretty tight, we jammed uh, pretty often, and uh, we ended up writing this song together. Um, I pretty much made everything except for the drum parts, and um, I don't know, this is going to be my reaction to this song. I haven't heard it in, in years, it hasn't been shown to anyone in years. Um, keep, keep in mind, I'm 22, I made the song when I was 15, I made it a big deal when I was 15. And then after that, uh, that kind of just disappeared. So um, without further ado, let's listen to this piece of beautifulness. Okay, I remember this piano part. I think I actually wrote this part too. Okay. Some heavy guitar stuff. Pretty repetitive. Just one quick commentary on that. Um, that is me on vocals, actually. I thought I was a pretty good streamer back then for whatever reason, and I decided to do vocals because I wrote vocal parts to this. And it sounds like trash. Um, also, if you can't tell, I was, and still am, very influenced by Avenged Sevenfold. I kept getting told when I showed this to people that it sounded a lot like uh, Unholy Confessions. Um, but yeah, let's, let's keep listening to this. Very unholy confessions. What am I saying? I don't even... <laughs> I don't know if I still have the lyrics for this song, but I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> that black in there. Now, to be honest, now that I'm listening to it, um, 
I actually think I wrote this song about my dad. Um, I think I was at a point where like, not that I didn't like him, but you know, I don't have the best history with my biological father. So I think I was kind of <clears throat> in a space where I was writing these lyrics and I was expressing things that I saw or how I felt and I guess I was angry <laughs> when I was recording this song just because getting into that mindset, you know, but let's keep listening. Yeah, um, I think a problem I still have to this day when I write stuff is I make things very repetitive and it can get boring. Um, even I actually remember when I was showing people this song when I recorded it, they really liked it, but they said they got bored in certain parts because it was happening too much. And um, I'm sorry if you guys are getting bored. Uh, I was 15 at the time, so let's keep at it. If I remember, the solo slash breakdown is coming up and... I thought I was hot stuff when I recorded this, but let's take a stroll down memory lane and see if I was the hot stuff. I feel like there was something missing there, but I think it was another, another chorus where you couldn't understand what I was saying. I think this is the breakdown. Um, let's see how that goes. I think I forgot that time existed uh that was terrible and it's not even over yet um i think this is when i was getting into like sweet picking and i was playing a lot of event sevenfold uh that was garbage um <laughs> let's keep going <laughs> I sincere, sincerely apologize to you guys that oh, I'm at a loss of words right now. I don't know. Let's let's just finish. Well then, um, all right, my honest opinions about myself. Well, here's the thing. If you guys don't already know this, musicians are their hardest critics, and they always will be. Um, I liked how I started this song. The piano was pretty cool. The guitar was pretty heavy, and it was, it blended very well. Um, as for the rest of it, I think now that I look back, uh, my friend and I could have wrote the drum pieces a little better. Um, as far as the vocals, I mean, I was 15, teaching myself how to scream. If I remember correctly, I actually got a throat infection, not from recording, but just like trying to practice vocals. Um, I would walk to school every day, and like on the way, I would actually like kind of practice lower, lower screams, lower growls, and um, I think I actually got sick. But <clears throat> Um, I mean, so much for that. I think, you know, practice makes perfect, and 
I obviously wasn't good at that time. It might be decent, I mean, for a 15-year-old. I mean, not bad, but... Wow, this brain back some memories on this song. Uh, again, I think it's very, very much influenced by Avenged Sevenfold. Um, and I think it was an okay song. I mean, besides getting to the solo, where I went completely off time. That was weird. Um... And I don't think I was even in key. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I was really diving into that kind of stuff back then. You know, um, even though I was in jazz band, I was trying to learn this stuff as I was going. But once you're in high school, you know, they kind of expect you to know all this stuff already. And because I was self-taught, I didn't know too much. I just kind of played. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of that. Um, I was greatly disturbed um part of me actually kind of wants to recreate this and see how that would go um i know let i would like to know what you guys think you know whether you thought this was a pretty good song for my age at the time um maybe whether i should recreate it or not that'd be awesome so yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment and uh maybe we'll react to some of my older songs next time until next time